My name is Mark Hamlin, and I'm excited to welcome you back to Cryptocurrency Academy. I've got some great information we're going to share with you over the next few minutes, and you're absolutely going to learn quite a bit. Now, I want to share with you why I'm so excited about the cryptocurrency marketplace. Unfortunately, there are many programs out that promise people a certain percentage a day, but they don't keep their promises. In fact, in many cases, they will shut down prematurely and people lose their money. Well, it's interesting that the fact that you can actually control your cryptocurrency and earn a profit and income without a middleman. I'm going to break that down for you. You're going to understand how that works over the next few minutes. So here's the curriculum today. I'm going to share with you four ways to make money with cryptocurrency. We're going to start off with a buy and hold strategy for long term wealth. Then we're going to talk about something called margin lending. This is a way that you can loan your Bitcoin or your cryptocurrency while you're holding it and earn income on a daily basis. Next, we're going to talk about buying and selling your cryptocurrency. That's called arbitrage in order to earn anywhere from 20 to 40 percent profits on each sale. And lastly, we're going to talk about trading. And this is where you actually trade. You predict whether or not the their currency is going to go up or whether it's going to go down and you're able to earn a profit like that. And we understand that many people are going to become very wealthy through cryptocurrency trading. So that's what we're going to get into. Go ahead and grab out your pen and your paper and get ready and let's get started. All right, let's talk about buy and hold strategy for long term wealth. Buying and holding, ladies and gentlemen, is you're going to pick a really good coin. And it's two things that you're looking for. You're looking for uh, activity within the marketplace, but you're also looking for a coin that has a commercial value. For example, Ethereum, the number two cryptocurrency in the marketplace, it has something known as a smart contract. That means that certain things can be written into the contract of the coin. For example, shares of a company stock. So when a person purchases the coin, they will also get a share of the company stock and many other features as well. What can be done with the smart contract is untapped territory, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be seeing a lot of new technologies coming out as time moves on. So Ethereum, for example, is processed very fast. When a person uh, makes a transaction, they can actually have access to that transaction in about 30 seconds, sometimes even less. That means it has a commercial use. It could be used potentially in stores. So that increases the value of the coin. When you pick a coin, you want to understand how popular is it within the marketplace and what type of commercial value does it have? Once you have selected, done your due diligence, you want to hold on to that coin. So when you see the price going up, it doesn't, it doesn't phase you. When you see the price going down, it doesn't phase you because you're in it for the long term. So this is real investing when it comes to cryptocurrency. It's called buy and hold. So how do you determine which coin you want to participate in well you need to do a little due diligence you're going to research go to the coins website most of them have a website dot uh, com right after the name of the coin you want to learn as much as possible about that coin you want to learn who the developers are behind that coin and you want to get a really good understanding of the market value now once you choose that coin you just stick and stay ladies and gentlemen over the long term so the thing you need to understand is that cryptocurrency is the most valuable profitable currency in the history of mankind. It's on an upward trend, primarily because of the limited quantity of coins that are in the marketplace. In other words, the more people that use that coin, it actually causes the value to increase. It's just a matter of choosing a good coin and you might want to diversify and have several coins so that you can kind of spread your, 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 your eggs a little bit instead of putting them all in one basket. But the main strategy is buy and hold for long term wealth. Now, the great thing I like about this is that you always have access to your coins. You can cash them out. We talked about some amazing crypto debit cards that are out there, including the YPC card that Yolo Pros is introducing. It might actually be out right now. You absolutely want, want to get that. It gives you the ability to convert your digital currency on a debit card and put it into many different currencies around the world. I believe about 15 different currencies. So you have access to your money 24-7, 365, even on a Sunday evening 
at 3 a.m. A buy and hold strategy is a great strategy to create long-term wealth. You can actually pass these coins on to your heirs and your children's children, and that would be an amazing start for them in the future. Thank you so much. Now, another way to earn money with cryptocurrency is called margin lending. This involves traders. They can use something called margin and they can make much more profit. The cryptocurrency exchanges love for their traders to use margin because they can earn more money. What they've done is they created a system where you, once you have an account there, you can actually lend your cryptocurrency to other traders through margin. It's called margin lending. It's a way that you can loan your cryptocurrency to earn money on a daily basis. So how much can you earn? You can earn anywhere from a 0.01% to as high as 6%, depending on how that cryptocurrency is doing in the marketplace at that time. This is passive income. So while you're utilizing your buy and hold strategy, you can actually take those cryptocurrencies and you can loan those out. You can't do it with all of them, but many of them you can. And there are two websites that you're gonna utilize. One is called Bitfinex and the other is called Polynex and you'll be able to see the various coins that they offer for margin lending. So let's talk about how it works in a little bit more detail. The traders are going to borrow the cryptocurrency from you, but that cryptocurrency is actually in an escrow account. They cannot touch it. They can use it to trade with, but they cannot touch it. And if their trade goes south and they lose money, it will do something called a margin call. It will close out but here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, you don't lose money. Your profit is already taken out. In fact, you are paid that earning on a daily basis and you will see it accumulating in your account. So how much can you earn? Anywhere from about 0.01%. That means in 10 days you would have 1% or as much as 6%. You can do the math once you get into it. And in future training, we're going to show you in more detail exactly how to do it how to open these accounts and how they actually work. Generally, when you open up one of these accounts in the Bitfinex or Polynex, you're gonna see that there are three different tabs. You're gonna see an exchange, you're gonna see margin funding, and you're gonna also see a tab where you can actually just buy and sell the cryptocurrency. And you're simply going to fund that account in the margin lending, the lending account. And that lending money, you'll be able to offer it up to those traders to actually borrow it from you and you'll be able to see how much you can earn. Also, you're going to see that you can set it on automatic pilot. So you can determine how many days you want to loan it for. You might only want to loan it for one day. You might want to loan it for a week. You just need to remember that while that money is loaned out, you cannot withdraw it. You cannot cash it out during that time. You have to wait till after that period has ended because you're under a contract during that particular time. Let's say you have it set for seven days, a seven day contract. At the end of seven days, you can withdraw that money, cash it out, do whatever you need to do. But in many cases, you can set it so it will automatically renew for you and it will do another seven days. So in future training, we're gonna break it down in a little more detail for you. In the meantime, you can research it. It's called mar margin funding, and it's a great way to earn income on your cryptocurrency while you're utilizing a buy and hold strategy. Pretty amazing, and you can actually do very well utilizing this concept. The third way to make money with cryptocurrency is called buying and selling. You probably have experienced it already if you've been in the market for a while. Sometimes people want to buy cryptocurrency from you and you can simply just sell it to them or provide it to them at the cost that you paid. But you may not be aware there's actually a market for it and people are looking to buy it for several different reasons. Maybe they don't have ID to open up an account. Maybe they don't have a debit or credit card. Maybe they don't have a, a bank account. So they go to certain websites to purchase that Bitcoin from people who already have it. And that creates an arbitrage opportunity for you to make a profit. And that profit can be anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, from 20% to as high as 40% on every sale that you make. So this is really, really interesting because you have a way to create income while you're buying and selling this cryptocurrency. How does this all start? Well, it starts off with you accumulating Bitcoin. 
you're going to need to accumulate Bitcoin and you're going to use a third party website that you're going to send this Bitcoin to. There are two that I use. One is called localbitcoins.com. They're all over the world in over 200 different countries. So you can do business around the world. And the other is called Paxful.com. These are both US based third party websites that you can utilize. Localbitcoins.com charges you 1% and Paxful charges about three to three and a half percent. They're a little more expensive. But I want to give you a word of caution because there are several things that you need to understand because unfortunately you do have scammers out there, people who are going to try to get your Bitcoin from you without paying you. So you need to be aware of a few details so that you can earn a profit and you don't have to worry about uh, losing money. All right. First thing you're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to open up both of those accounts and you need to fund those accounts with some Bitcoin. You know, you want to start with at least, I'd say at least $500. The more you have there, obviously, the more that you can sell. But I think $500 is, is about the minimum. And you can actually grow your account through your profits. You know, you're earning 20% or more. And that's going to accumulate over time as you're making sales. Now, there are several ways that people can buy those Bitcoins from you. In fact, there's a long list of ways. They can send the money to you from Walmart to Walmart. They can send the money by way of Western Union. They can actually even buy the Bitcoin from you with a gift card, all different types of gift cards. If you have a credit card processing service, they can even pay for it with debit or credit card. Now, that is the method that I don't like the debit or credit card because it opens you up for fraud. So be very careful if you decide to accept debit or credit card because this is what can happen, ladies and gentlemen, it's called the chargeback. They can contact their bank later and say that they don't know anything about their transaction and their bank is the final authority that will decide whether or not they get their money back or not. In most cases, they're going to rule in their favor. I would suggest uh, my experience has been not to do debit or credit cards. What I really like of all the various choices is called a cash deposit direct into your bank account. When you're doing it that way, ladies and gentlemen, when they get ready to make the purchase, they're actually going to make a deposit directly into your bank account. You might want to have multiple accounts with some of the larger banks. Of course, that's Wells Fargo, that's Bank of America, that's Citibank, and that's Chase. That basically will cover you for the entire United States. You can actually open up those accounts right online. Just go online and open an account and then fund it. Now you've got those accounts. Within these systems, you're not going to give people your bank account number until you know that they want to want to make a purchase. And then you're definitely not going to tell them where you live because they could search and try to find your routing number to try to do certain things. So you never tell them the city that you live in. You can tell them the state because often when they're making a deposit into your bank account, their bank will ask them what state. So you can tell them the state, but you don't tell them the city. You do not exchange personal information with the people that you're doing business with. You're going to use these websites as the go between and that's going to provide a protection for you. And you can go to these sites, ladies and gentlemen, and you can uh, watch some of these tutorial videos and they're going to break it down for you. The main thing you need to understand is you need to go slow at first. Understand what you're doing, feel comfortable. Your first trades will be a smaller amounts, you know, keep them like around 50 to $100 until you go through the learning curve. Once you are comfortable, then moving forward, you can do much larger trades. This is a great way for you to earn money, to create income simply by buying and selling your cryptocurrency, specifically your Bitcoin. It absolutely works. It's pretty amazing. You can do business with people all around the world and you can create income. One of the things I like about these various ways of earning income and making money with cryptocurrency is that you can use that to purchase more for your buy and hold strategy, your, your trading strategy, your long term wealth. You can actually take what you have, earn more money so that you can create even more. Now, you're going to want to set up a couple of accounts. You're going to want perhaps Coinbase and a company called Uphold.com. And these accounts will be connected to your bank account. 
what you're doing here, you're actually circulating currency. You're going to buy the Bitcoin. You're going to put it into one of these third party sites. You're going to sell it. The people are going to put the money into your bank account. Then you're going to take the money from your bank account and you're going to buy more cryptocurrency in your Bitcoin wallet. Now, what's the fastest way to get money into your Bitcoin wallet? It's through a bank transfer. If you do a bank transfer, uh, you can actually have that money in your account in just a couple of hours, sometimes even faster than that. The best company to utilize for bank transfers happens to be Coinbase. And as you know, Coinbase is a US based company. They're actually funded by many huge companies, including the New York Stock Exchange. So this is all mainstream. The fastest way to get that Bitcoin is through a bank transfer. Coinbase is going to charge you $10. Your bank will probably have a fee, although there are some banks that don't have any fees. And you're just going to include that cost in your, your price. If you feel as though you need to increase your price a little more, then you go to 25%. You can go to 30%. In some cases, you can even go to 40%. The main thing I want you to understand is take your time in the beginning. You might want to stay away from those high risk transactions, which are debit and credit cards. You want to learn also about how to accept gift cards. You have to open up a special account in order to do that. Uh, you can actually make great profit on those. A lot of people accumulate uh, these gift cards from doing various things and they want to convert them into Bitcoin and they are willing to pay 30 35 and 40 percent profits on that levels of profits that you can absolutely make and you can do it over and over again so go through the learning curve take your time with it go ahead and make the profit and we'll see you all at the bank the fourth way to make money with cryptocurrency is called trading we're specifically going to talk about swing trading as we get into this topic. So I'm really excited about this because many experts have said that more millionaires are going to be created with cryptocurrency from this point forward than have been created up until this point. And it's actually going to be done through trading. If you have any experience trading foreign currency, uh, you understand how the markets can be sometimes unpredictable. Well, cryptocurrency, it actually, the markets are actually even more predictable than foreign currency. And in many cases, the altcoins, those are the alternative coins, those are a coin other than a Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the primary coin. The altcoins will often follow Bitcoin as Bitcoin uh, rises and, and drops within the marketplace. You can double dip at the same time, which makes it very, very interesting. Let's just talk about trading in general. Of course, you're going to trade through in one of the major exchanges such as Bitfinex and also Polynex and you're going to open an account and you can actually go in and trade there. Here's the thing. There are three different types of trading. There's day trading, there is swing trading, and there is investing. So let's talk about day trading for a minute. When a person gets involved in day trading, their goal is to earn profits that day. They're going to make many trades. Sometimes they're going to do some scalping, but their goal is to make a profit and to close that trade out in that day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you need to understand day trading is probably the most risky of the various types of trading. And that's where people actually lose the most money. Can you make profit there? Absolutely. But most people, especially beginners, they lose most of their money day trading. So when it comes to cryptocurrency, many people prefer swing trading. What's swing, swing trading? That's where you're going to hold your trade for two days to as long as two weeks. You're not going to come out of the trade because you know that the price is going to either go up or go down over a period of time. You're going to hold your trade a little longer. That requires a different psychology. A lot of people, when they get involved in trading, they get emotional. One of the things you have to learn how to do is to take your emotions out of the trade. This is a matter of math. It's a matter of speculation. And most of all, ladies and gentlemen, it's a matter of discipline. Now, we're going to have advanced training on this. Trading is not something you jump right into without any experience. You want to get as much education as you possibly can. And we're going to provide that for you as we move forward. A really great way uh, to earn money is through trading, but you definitely need to take your time with it. And you definitely want to get as much education as possible before you actually go out there and get into the lion's den, so to speak. I've heard a lot of horror stories of people out there trading. Most cases, they are not prepared. Now, 
if you are going to trade, you need to uh, institute something called risk management. We need to talk about that a little bit. What is risk management? Risk management is you want to trade and you never want to expose your entire account. The rule of thumb is to trade 2% of your account balance. So if your account balance is, uh, let's say, $200, you're going to be trading $4. 2% of your account balance, all right? And you can do the, do the math on that. Why do that? Well, first of all, you want to protect your principal. And second of all, you would literally have to lose 50 times in a row in order to burn your account out. If you want to make more profit, you need to increase your account balance so that 2% increases. This is a rule of thumb. You must always protect your capital. That's called risk management. And if you don't do anything else, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what you want to do. There's also something known as stop losses. And uh, you're also going to utilize those stop losses. So that if the trade goes in the opposite direction, it will automatically close out and you're going to limit your losses. What do you want your loss to be? 2%. Just remember that. That means you still have protected your account and you can come back, you can continue to trade and you continue to make profit as you go through the learning curve. One of the things you can also do, ladies and gentlemen, is set up a demo account. Start off trading out of your demo account so that you can get comfortable and get familiar there before you actually start trading out of your live account. Some really good advice to get you started in that marketplace. And of course, we're going to have more advanced training as we go forward. Now, those are the four ways to make money with cryptocurrency. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for attending this particular training. We have more. We're going to be talking about ICOs and a few other things coming up. And we look forward to uh, working with you and talking with you again on the next training. Have a great day.